Well, here's uh, Bob Leonard's frugal vacuum truck. Um, the whole kit and caboodle, unpacked, laid out on the uh, table saw. So we've got a um, vacuum uh, air pump, vacuum chuck, instructions, filters, pipe, mounting bolts and screws, and a, a vacuum gauge. So we're going to get this uh, hooked up to the Laguna lathe, and uh, we're going to start uh, having some bowls held in place and get things turning a lot better than they are. So here we go. So we have the uh, vacuum pump mounted on a shelf just behind the lathe. Um, there's a four foot uh, vacuum hose coming from the um, suction pump. Um, so it just reaches, um, although uh, it can be extended. And I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but the, the pump is going now. Um, it's fairly silent. Got some vibration there, but that's just down to the shelf that's uh, mounted to a uh, stud wall. Um, they all looks pretty stable. There's got four rubber grommets um, supporting the uh, vacuum pump. So even when it is shaking, it's truly not doing um, anything much to the uh, pump. And uh, besides which, um, it's very, very close to the lathe, and that's the main thing. All that's needed is the uh, vacuum truck itself, which is um, mounted on a uh, wooden, and uh, I think it's like Bakelite of some sort, material. Um, this screws into the headstock, so you squeeze it through to the center of the stock. Screw it in like you would a chuck, any other chuck. And she's mounted. The rear of the lathe is the uh, four foot vacuum hose coming from the uh, vacuum pump. That just gets slid onto the um, hose that's on the back of uh, the vacuum truck, it just slides on there, it doesn't need to have any sort of other security in that because it's all vacuum, so it, it sucks itself into place. This is the truck actually in use. I've got a latest project bowl on the uh, tail stock, feeding in the uh, vacuum truck into the uh, centre of the lathe. Uh, that pink felt at the end is just a, uh, a, a gasket, it's to uh, seal off the face of the uh, truck and uh, the bowl face. On goes the uh, vacuum pipe from the vacuum pump. Alexa, turn on vacuum. The bowl is completely centered by the tailstock and uh, the truck holding the bowl in place and brings it up to the face of the uh, vacuum truck and the pump just sucks that bowl onto the face. And you did hear there that I used um, Alexa to um, activate the vacuum pump. Um, that's just a, a switch that's uh, put onto the vacuum pump so that you um, use voice command to turn it on and off. That saves uh, walking around to the back of the lathe. See now that the bowl's held fast on that vacuum truck, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, I tried to pull that thing off, it was uh, tied on. Um, so um, still a bit. Uh, trepidous about uh, whether or not that bowl is going to stay there but um, I spun it up around 8 uh, rpm it was, it was turning true using half inch bowl gouge to just take that foot off and um, to make the bottom of the bowl very very smooth it didn't uh, miss a beat got to say this uh, vacuum chuck is uh, a godsend because it um, holds those bowls really really tight and of course you don't need a towel stock or any other sort of device to hold the bowl or get in the way of having the foot being removed from the bowl great tool so pretty happy with the uh, frugal truck um, you can see they're sped up with the bowl completely the bowl bottom completely um, uh, taken away and sanded um,
Alexa, turn off vacuum. Little air valve on the uh, the rear of the, the pump, removes the bowl and she's free. Have to say, highly recommend this uh, frugal uh, vacuum truck system. Um, see you next time guys, cheers.